Hello, my name is Nick McFerrin from the Katia Design IPS team. I'd like to share with you today the latest enhancements to 3D Play Immersive VR on the 3D Experience 2021X Cloud version Hotfix 5.10. 3D Play is our entry-level, easy-to-use 3D viewing tool. It's included in the basic 3D experience roles. It works through your browser, it works on your tablet or your iPad, and it also works through the rich client. 3D Play offers a really simple interface. We can change the uh, visualization mode. We can explode an assembly to have a look inside. It's optimized to work on a tablet, so it's easy to flip between standard views. And it also has some basic measuring capability. So this is a tool for non-CAD users to be able to interrogate a model. I really enjoy using this uh, cross-section feature. It's dynamic, and you can slide the plane through the model and uh, have a look at what's inside. It also comes with a basic markup capability. To access the 3D Play Immersive VR scenario, you will need an available Immersive Visual Experience token or access to the Virtual Reality Reviewer or Immersive Collaboration Experience roles. Now, here I'm using the new AirGrab navigation mode. I find it really simple to use, really intuitive. I can rotate the model like this and then just grab it and pull it towards me. It makes it very easy to do, it makes perfect sense. I really feel like I'm in here with the model. We have the regular navigation mode, so we can fly, fly like a bird. And we have teleport, a really good way to move around a large model like a, a ship or a large building. We also have a regular walking mode where you keep your height fixed. So here I'm going to take a look at some of the other things we can do. We can do navigation, explore and report. So let's have a look at report. When you choose this from the menu, you get a haptic pulse through the hand controllers that let you know when you're touching the right part of the interface. So this is the markup tool. I can choose the thickness of my lines and I can choose from a selection of basic colors. So here I'm marking up the model to explain my thoughts. Maybe there's a problem or an issue or something that I want to change. We can also delete our markups. Again, the haptic pulse is telling me when I'm in the right place. It really makes it easy to use. Now we go into the explore mode. Uh, on the left controller, you can see the menu for the different explore modes. So hide show allows us to switch off, visually switch off parts of the model so we can look inside. Let me just reset the model. And uh, the measure tool, a little bit like it was in the normal 2D mode, we can also do it in virtual reality. Here's my favorite function, explode. And now using the air grab, I'm gonna move the model closer to my point of view so I can really uh, have a look around. It truly is an immersive experience. Here's the cut plane tool. And depending on which way you slice the model, it cuts the plane one way or the other. And look at these details. Fantastic. Taking a look at the engine now, maybe we want to change the mode to be a little easier to see in a more uh, standard colors. So I'm going to change the render mode. And this cycles through shading and wireframe, just like it does in the desktop 3D play. Here I'm making parts of the model transparent. So nice selection of tools available for the non-CAD user to really understand a model, 
review what it looks like and uh, pull it apart and look at, at what's inside. This is 3D Play, immersive VR on the 3D Experience platform.